Good afternoon, and welcome to another after school special by the TIPS team. Today we're going to be talking about Canva. Many of you might be familiar with Canva as a great multimedia design tool to use in your classroom or even with students. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of the great tools and how they've begun to include AI tools to make it even more effective. If you haven't checked it out yet and you're looking for more interactive whiteboard ideas to use in your classroom on your interactive display, you might want to go ahead and click on whiteboard right here on the main landing screen. And in here you'll notice that they have a number of templates. If we were to look up something like a KWL chart, you'll notice that there are a number of templates devised for students at a number of grade levels with instructions for you to use. For example, we can click on this one and it will immediately insert it into a large whiteboard area. There are directions on the left that you can remove before or after, and you can even share this with students and they can collaborate on it much like a Jamboard in the past, but with a lot more fu functionality. Or you can even just export nicely colored whiteboard ideas and bring them into any of your other whiteboarding software that you like to use, like Lumio, Notebook, or even Google Slides. Heading back to the home screen, we can see there are all kinds of other types of tools, including an education tab. I suggest you take a poke at this, as it does have many different types of things such as lessons, presentations, and even video templates for creating educational videos for the classroom. But from here, I'd like to show you some of the AI tools that have been developed or included in Canva for you to use, free with your educator account. Heading over to the app section on the left, we'll open a number of apps there are tools you can use while creating a Canva document. If we click on AI powered, we'll see there are uh, many, many of them. Some of them that I think are um, very useful in the classroom might be for coloring books. You can turn descriptions and make custom coloring pages to hand out for special events in your classroom, uh, or maybe something to do for students during art when they're done their work. There are others in here as well, such as Logo Maker, uh, even Imogen, which is the um, Google version of uh, Dolly for creating uh, images. Let's go ahead and give that one a try. We'll simply just throw that into a whiteboard as if I was getting ready to present. And you'll notice that this tool pops up. They're also accessible from a document you've already created. So here we have a, a sample of prompts such as a, ska a cat skiing down a hill. We'll click generate, we'll give it a moment, and it will give us some uh, images, hopefully, of a cat skiing down a hill. Let's see what it does. Now, I gave it a very general prompt, so who knows what we'll get. Ah, there we go. Uh, you know, maybe these images are a little too, car too cartoony, so I might say, uh, make it anime style and extreme. Let's see if that, uh, recreates that image in a way that I would like to use in my presentation a little bit more. There we go. Now I can just bring that image right over and drop it directly in, do any cropping or resizing that I might need. So that's one way that you can use some of the AI tools in Canva to add custom graphics from any of these other tools. What I kind of like about it is if I go back to apps, um, you can uh, definitely ex access these apps directly in a uh, document like I am here. But that, maybe I wanted to actually try Imogen and Dolly to see which one gives me the best graphics or the best images. I don't have to go to those tools. I can do them right here, taking turns here uh, in the Canva workspace. You'll notice there are many others, and there's too many here to really go through but I would suggest you um, can give them a try and see which ones meet your needs. Other than all of the collection of AI tools, the top three tools that generally Canva users might use are found right here on the main page. Write my first draft, which is Magic Writer. Resize any design, which will help you add a background to images or make any image any size, and remove backgrounds. If I pick Remove Backgrounds as an example, I can come to any image, like this image of my daughter skiing, that I have uploaded to Canva. I can also upload any image. You'll see here now under Magic Studio, I have background remover here in the image editing and it's automatically removed all of that background. I can put that background back I, or I can even come in and here, as you can see, I'm replacing the background, but I can also remove things from that background after. So if removing backgrounds from images is something you need to do, this is a great tool. And lastly, 
write my first draft or magic write. Magic write is something that will do a, like a lot of uh, AI tools. It will simply um, allow me to uh, create a first draft of a paragraph or idea to add to this document that's already well formatted for you know some purpose. So uh, I would use this maybe if I'm making posters or I'm looking to add paragraphs to uh, infographics. Might be a great tool to get you started if you're used to using AI tools uh, such as this. As you can see, uh, I just asked her to give you directions on how to use this tool and there they are. I can just go ahead and uh, edit that or do a this but and click insert. What I really like about this is if I'm just looking to make a quick uh, poster and for my classroom with a set of simple steps to do with a particular topic, I can make that really quickly. Those are just a few of the tools you might find in Canva. There are so many that you can't go through them all. So this is really just to get you started thinking about how you might take a look at these tools and use them in Canva for your classroom use. As always, have a great day. And if you have any questions or concerns, reach out to your TIPS team member or visit tips.epsb.ca for more resources and information.